Good day to you guys, I'm Gerald Baron, and this is a tutorial series, a step-by-step -step process about Cisco Packet Tracer simulating a basic MPLS connection. And I welcome you to Module 3. Our intended learning outcome for this module is for you to be able to know how to assign a proper IP address for each PC's and subnet address to a network in Cisco Packet Tracer. And with that out of the way, let's get right into the action. We are here again to our subnet calculator and this time around our main IP address is 192.0.0.0 .0 and our subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 or slash 24. And with this subnet mask, our main IP address will be subdivided into 65,536 networks. And for each of those networks, it will enable us to have a host per subnetwork of 256 IP address or a computer and device. Now let's head on to Packet Tracer. And this time around, we'll construct two different networks that are interconnected via router. So in Packet Tracer, I'll drop in five PCs, one switch, and a router for each network, either by drag and dropping them or drag and clicking them to the workspace. On the left side, this will be our network 1, and on the right side, that will be our network 2. And on each network, we need to assign a network address from what we just subnet earlier. So we'll use the subnet one for our network one with a subnet address of 192.0.0.0 .0 and then the subnet two for our network two with a subnet address of 192.0.1.0. .0. Now I'll list down all of our host IP address range on network one from 192.0.0.1 up to 192.0.0.254 and it looks like this. And on network 2, it looks like this. Now we'll assign these IP address to our corresponding PC according to its appropriate network just like what we've discussed on module 1. On network 1, we'll assign these 5 IP addresses to our PCs with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 or slash 24. And on network 2, we'll also assign these 5 IP addresses to our PCs with the same subnet mask. We didn't use our first IP address to each network which is 192.0.0.1 on network 1 and 192.0.1.1 on network 2 because we'll use that later for our routers. Now that all of our PCs have their IP addresses, we'll now have to connect them to a switch by using a straight through cable and we'll do that in this time lapse. Now it's time to connect our routers and switches via gigabit ethernet port and configure our router by double-clicking it. The first thing we want to do on our router is to turn on the port. Always remember which port we connect onto. And in this case, our router's Gigabit Ethernet port 0 is connected to our Network 1 switch. We also need to assign a IP address to that port. And just like what I've said earlier that we reserved our first IP address to each network for its corresponding router. So in network 1, we reserved 192.0.0.1, so we'll use that on this router. And the subnet mask is the same. Now we'll also do that for our network 2 router. We reserved 192.0.1.1 and assigned that IP address to this port with the same subnet mask. Since we now have a IP address on our router, we can now assign a default gateway for each PC in the network. So that will be 192.0.0.1 for network 1 and 192.0.1.1 for network 2. And this is how it is done with this time lapse. 
all we have to do is just copy and paste the same default gateway to its corresponding network. Now let's test our connection again by using the add simple PDU function and check if our PCs can communicate to their routers. And the answer is yes. That ends module 3, subnetting and allocating network address and IP address. I'll connect these two routers and discuss more on about static routing in the next video. Stay tuned, see you guys there, and have a nice day.